Does this workplace look dangerous to you? Well, when you are handling materials, these are all different materials, many kinds of materials. When you are handling materials, storing materials on, on shelves, in warehouses, and disposing of materials. Disposal is throwing away. You can be safe or dangerous. So you need to learn for handling and storing materials. What are the hazards and injuries? What is the PPE that you need? What is manual material handling? Often this means safe lifting. What is material handling by machine? Usually equipment like a forklift. How can you store materials correctly and dispose of materials correctly? So first, Oh, we have hazards. We have hazards. So a little vocabulary. Um, this here is a dolly. Sometimes a truck. People might say a truck. And this is a forklift. Ah, there is a fall hazard. <laughs> so different hazards could be improper manual lifting, where you lift something manual is with your hands and you are not doing it correctly. It's not proper. Improper is not proper, incorrect. Maybe you are carrying loads that are too large, bulky or heavy. So if you don't have a dolly and you try to carry all this, this is maybe too large. Bulky is like a hard, weird shape. It's hard to hold or heavy, just heavy. You might be struck by materials. Bam, struck hit or struck by a box or different materials. And you might be crushed by machines or falling materials. And now you are flat. <laughs> you are crushed. Very dangerous. What kinds of injuries can happen? Sometimes a back injury. You think that's not too complicated, but a back injury can stop you from working. Lifting objects is a major cause of back injuries in the workplace. So lifting something that is large, it's bulky and heavy can injure your back. What about this poor guy? He's smiling. <laughs> I don't know why. A worker can be struck or hit and crushed, squish, without proper storing and handling of materials and equipment. So there are different kinds of personal protective equipment that can help with storing and handling materials. Maybe materials have a sharp or a rough edge. The edge, right? The edge of something is sharp or rough. So wear gloves or other hand and forearm, forearm protection. When materials are heavy or bulky, also wear steel toed safety shoes. These shoes have a steel toe. It is hard. Nothing can crush your toes. This can prevent foot injuries if the object is 
dropped. So there's two kinds of moving and handling. Manual, you're using your hands, or machine. Sometimes people say equipment handling or automated handling. Some kind of machine or auto or robot handles the equipment. Still, it can be dangerous. Let's start with manual handling. Right? This is this is bulky. This is awkward to carry. Oh, you can make handles to hold. Now it's much easier to carry and save your back. When an object is too bulky to properly hold or lift like this, it's too bulky. You cannot correctly hold it or lift it. Maybe you can't see around or over the load. This guy cannot see around it or over it. When you can't safely handle the load, you can attach or use handles if possible. So he made handles, something to hold easily with your hand. For safe lifting, we have strategies. Ooh, this is cool. Some cool belts. There are different handling aids, such as handles, okay, dollies, we looked at the dolly, wheels, just your basic wheels and a, a cart, and straps. So these are straps. That can help you lift safely. There is a wrong way. There's a wrong way to lift and a right way to lift. Even using dollies. Ooh, over your head, never. Safe lifting. If you're working by yourself, break a load into parts. So it's not lots of, of boxes, but just one box you can carry easily. One piece by one piece by one piece. Small parts. Lift with your legs. So he's using his legs to stand up, not his back. Keep your back straight. Do not twist. Do not twist. Avoid, don't do this. Avoid lifting above the shoulder. That is hard on your back. So this is not good. <clears throat> if you're using, using a forklift, doing some equipment materials handling, there are safety rules. <laughs> there are accidents with forklifts all the time. What's the problem here? I think he overloaded his fork. And it's not, it's not balanced in the middle. It's more on one side. So don't overload it. It could tip over up. Center the load on the forks, All right? Here's my forks. So, so put your load in the center, not, not over on one side. Ah, okay. Keep it in the center. And as close to the mast as possible to keep the forklift from tipping or the load falling. So here is the mast, right, right here. And this load looks pretty centered and it's close to the mast. It's not on the end of the forks. Place the load at the lowest position for traveling. Keep the load low down. What about storing materials? Where do you put where? That's storing materials. Pay attention. Prevent falling by stacking materials safely. So these are stacked. 
you have something and you stack something on top. It is stacked. Stack them safely. Not too high, only two things are stacked here. Post safe load limits of floors. If you are holding a lot of weight on this floor, how much weight can the floor hold? Here's an example. This floor will safely sustain a load of 100 pounds per square foot. So one foot squared, 100 pounds per square foot. That's a lot of load. And keep your walkways clear. So there are places to walk safely that you don't have things lying in your path. That is good storage. Finally, disposal of materials. How do you dispose of materials or throw away your materials? As work continues, Throw out all waste material from the work area. Don't leave some things lying around inside that you can trip over. So let's summarize together. Handling materials, you need good PPE. Also, you need friends, get help. There's a typo. Get help. Use safe lifting, lifting with your back. Use dollies or other aids like handles or straps. If you're using a forklift to move materials, check the area. Check the balance. Keep it in the middle, low to the ground when moving. <laughs> Don't drive fast, don't play with a forklift, and there should only be one person in the forklift. When you're storing materials, stack carefully and post signs about the maximum weight on the floor. Last, disposal. Throw away the trash fast. Just keep throwing away trash or waste. Keep the walkways clear so there are places, clear empty places for people to walk. And that is the most important information about materials, storing, and disposing of and handling materials, all kinds of materials.